नमो बुधाय दिस अभिनव गुलेचा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग अप अ सूत्र फ्रॉम द अंगर अंगरुत्त निकाया इट इज 5.200 लीडिंग टू एस्केप द लिंक टू द द सूत्र इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन रीड द सूत्र दिस सूत्र इज ऑन फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज दैट लीड्स टू एस्केप सो दिस इज बेसिकली डायरेक्टेड एट मंग्स बट दिस हैज इंप्लीकेशंस फॉर अस एज वेल सो आई जस्ट थॉट टू शेयर दिस दिस अ शॉर्ट वीडियो आई एम मेकिंग सो द बुद्ध सेज दैट फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज लीड टू एस्केप एस्केप फ्रॉम हॉट एस्केप फ्रॉम दिस समसारा एस्केप फ्रॉम दिस सफरिंग दिस कॉन्स्टेंट साइकिल ऑफ रीबर्थ सफरिंग ओल्ड एज बर्थ डेथ राइट सो देर आर फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज विच आर लीडिंग टू एस्केप विच फाइव सो फर्स्ट बुद्ध सेज देर इज द केस वेर द माइंड ऑफ द मंक वेन अटेंडिंग टू सेंशुअल प्लेजर्स डजेंट लीप अप एट सेंशुअल प्लेजर्स doesn't grow confident set fast or released in sensual pleasures but when attending to renunciation his mind leaps up at renunciation grows confident set fast and released in renunciation when his mind is rightly gone rightly developed has rightly risen above gain release and become disjointed from sensual pleasures then whatever fermentations torments and fevers that are that arise in dependence on sensuality he is released from them he does not experience that feeling this is expounded as the escape from sensual pleasures so what here buddha is trying to say is the first the the thing that buddha is seeing is that the mind of the the person's mind you know what is the natural tendency when we see a sensual pleasure right in front of us we leap at it we grasp it it's like a cheetah that You know, grasps at his prey, right? We this the so for example, if you have a craving for food and you see a gulab jamun or a sweet in front of you, the immediately you you can note this tendency of this mind to grasp. If your mindfulness is not yet developed that much, then you cannot, you won't be even able to notice it. Immediately your hand will rise, and <laughs> by the time you are able to you know. know what has happened the gulab jamun is inside your uh, you know mouth and you know uh, it has just gone you know that is our natural tendency and that has been what i can say about me like 10 years back when i was not in my practice mindfulness practice but but when my practice started developing when i started practicing mindfulness i can see this mind's tendency my mind's tendency of grasping at that particular thing and you know eating so the entire process happens and i am totally aware of that it is happening but my mindfulness is still not yet developed so much that i i resist i do not engage in that thing right it's not yet developed so this is what i'm being very frank and honest here so it's i am also working progress right so here with this side trying to say is that the mind of the monk when attending to sensual pleasures doesn't leap up doesn't grow confident and steadfast so that means that tendency is overcome the person has overcome that tendency of you know leaping it and being going straight fast and release in sensual pleasures instead when attending to renunciation that means renunciation of the of the pleasures there his mind is you know leaps up he is mind becomes leaps up renounce uh, grows confidence straight fast and release in renunciation and so basically the mind gets disjointed from all the sensual pleasures and does it the sensual pleasures doesn't cause fermentation so for example you are a man and you see a beautiful woman i also give i always give this kind of an example you know and and see what happens in you does it you know uh, give the feelings of lust and all in you right uh, is it that you can just uh, uh, be completely free from the lust right so that is all about the mental development our mind so this is all the noble eightfold the second element the second pillar of the noble eightfold path right effort right mindfulness right concentration all three things we have to practice to develop our mind so that it doesn't engage in all these things right it becomes so one pointed so strong right otherwise our mind is like uh, i go back to the dhammapada's uh, verse where buddha compares the mind to a undeveloped mind to a ill thatched hut so passion can only enter a mind like a rain water enters an ill thatched hut if the Uh, thought is well thatched then as rain water cannot enter that mind passion cannot enter so my essential learning here is that we have to make our mind so well developed through the practice of our insight meditation and through the practice of mindfulness that our mind you know 
the tendency of grasping it is at sense pleasures is replaced by the tendency of renunciation not getting you know yoked by the sense with the sensual pleasures so so the first property is uh, regarding the uh, doesn't leap not mind not leaping at sense uh, sense pleasures and mind leaping at renunciation the second property buddha says is when attending to ill will that means maybe you are in a gathering where there is a gossip about someone so your mind doesn't grow confident and comp- in, and doesn't leap to ill will but mind leaps at non ill will right this is the second property the ill will right third is while attending to harmfulness that means harming anyone so mind doesn't get attached to harmfulness instead mind gets attached to harmlessness that means ensuring that so you know when it comes to not harming anyone your mind becomes very focused and you know confident that i will not harm any living being through like what my cousin i will not consume like i will not kill living beings for meat or i will not even you know have dairy products which harm the uh, which have contained cruelty towards animals so i'll make a separate video on why i stopped drinking milk right so making mind steadfasted in harmlessness then uh, fourth is when attending to forms doesn't leap up at forms so again knowing that you know these are forms are all impermanent we mind doesn't leap up so we do all our daily duties and everything but we do not leap up at forms right like any a beautiful person or something or because it's everything is impermanent so we have to make our mind so diligent so well developed that that thing doesn't happen and when attending to the formless formless is like in in stillness the presence that is there in us so mind leaps up becomes confident so our meditations are deeper right all these things happen so fifth is mind of a monk when attending to self identity doesn't leap up at self identity because he knows that there is no self that impermanence of self uh, there is non existence of any self so and but when he attends to cessation of self identity his minds leap up so that means he doesn't attend to anything which he doesn't do anything with this i notion that i am doing anything i am doing anything it's basically he just notices the movement of the various things that are happening and whatever feelings are arising inside or mind states or, or or states the internal and external phenomena he is just aware he doesn't leap up to them with the i notion right so that is the fifth so finally buddha says delight in sensuality doesn't obsess him delight in ill will doesn't obsess him delight in harmfulness doesn't obsess him delight in form doesn't obsess him delight in self identity does not obsess him from the lack of any obsession with sensuality lack of any obsession with ill will to harmfulness to form to self identity he is called a monk without attachment he has cut through craving has turned away from the fetter and by rightly breaking through conceit he has put an end to suffering and stress these are the five properties that lead to escape right so this is the the five properties uh, we need to be mindful of that the action point here is to develop our mind make the mind so strong that the mind so it's so it's like very easy to go downstream so everyone 99% of the people they are all going downstream towards the pursuit of pleasures and everything we have to move upstream and that requires energy that requires strength of the mind so you have to develop that much strength that although initially the up moving upstream that means finding impermanence in sense pleasures it's difficult right but with regular practice with we have to make our mind so strong that then our mind doesn't leap at sense pleasures our mind leaps as like our mind instead of saying that let's go and party right uh, our mind leaps at the thought that oh i have this uh, time for my sitting meditation and i will sit and meditate for some time right so that is where that 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 the difference comes right so i hope it was useful in some way uh, some insight you got do please share your reflections and thoughts or feedback in the comments section below um, uh, the link to the the sutra is given in the description you can check it out uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye